guys, so I'm starting out with my Tarte Shape Tape on the eyes to prime them. Um, and I'm blending it out using an F60 foundation brush from Sigma. I'm starting with the eyes because we're using glitter and intense shadows, so I just wanted to be on the safe side. And then I'm just setting with my RCMA No Color Powder because there's no um, matte bone shade in the palette. I'm just applying some tape to the outer corners of the eyes and then I'm taking this brown shade up the top. I don't know all the names so I am sorry guys but I'm just using this as a transition. Then I'm taking this shade which is called Puda. Um, it's just a slightly deeper brown and I'm using the same E40 and just starting to buff this into the crease as well. I'm just being a little bit more precise with each brown shade that I use in the crease. Then I'm going into the shade Roxanne, which is more of a warm toned, kind of deeper brown. And I'm using an E25, which is much more precise. And just buffing this into the crease again. Then I'm taking this beautiful greenish dark shade. It's called Enchanted. And I'm just starting to buff this into the outer corner. And as you can see with this type of brush, you can pack the shade on as well as blend it out so I'm really packing it on in the outer corner and then blending with the sort of edge of the brush. Then I'm taking this shade next to it which is called Diva. Oh my god this shade is gorgeous. It's like the perfect emerald green colour. I love it. So I applied it to the outer corner and the inner corners while leaving the center of the eyelid blank. And then I took this gorgeous gold shade called Queen and I applied it with my finger right into that center part of the lid. And then I just went back in with my E25 brush. Oh, sorry about that, it's a loud car. Um, and blended out the edges. Then I took the Sigma Line Ace Black Liquid Liner. Um, this liquid liner is probably my new favorite. I am obsessed with how easy it is to apply and how black and matte it is. I love it. So I just created a wing with that and then I took the LA Splash uh, like glitter primer and the Mecca Max Loose Glitter in I think Cashed Up it's called. Um, so I applied it with my E54 brush from Sigma and I just applied it on top of the gold so right in the center of the lid. Then I removed the tape and went in with a black liner from Rimmel and just tight lined my eyes with that. Then I applied some Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and I went in with these Ardell Glamour Wispies. Then moving on to the face, I just took a simple cleansing wipe and I just pretty much got rid of any fallout that I had on my face. Then I primed using the Fenty Beauty Primer um, and just massage that into my skin. And then I use the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Uh, this one's in the shade 190, so I just pumped a few pumps of that onto my cheek. And you can see the full coverage, it's so amazing. I love this foundation. Um, and yeah, I blended that in with an F88 brush from Sigma. Then to conceal my under eyes, I took my Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. So this is the lighter shade that I have and I pretty much applied it underneath my eyes trying to highlight. And then I went in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Medium and I was just going to conceal all around my chin like where I had imperfections. So I blended all of that out but then I felt like it just looked too uneven with the highlighted under eyes. So I added a tiny bit more of the Tarte Shape Tape to the center of the face just to make sure everything looked cohesive. Then to set all of the concealed areas I used the RCMA No Color Powder once again and I just used an F35 brush from Sigma just to press it into my skin. Then going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. This is actually a face powder but I use it as a bronzer. Um, I'm using an F05 brush just to pretty much bronze and kind of contour the skin. Just give it a bit of warmth and yeah. And then for blush I took the Sigma Nymphaea blush. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, but I used it on an F40 brush and just applied it to my cheeks. And then to highlight, I took the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter, which 
I like but I kind of feel like it gives me a dark stripe on the top of my cheekbones like when I'm not looking towards the light if that makes any sense like you can sort of just see it's like a dark stripe but when it hits the light it does look beautiful so I applied that and then I set my face with some MAC Fix Plus to make sure my powders were settled then I went back in with the shade Puder on my lower lash line on an E25 and just blended that underneath the lower lash line. Then taking the shade Enchanted again, which is that greeny, dark black kind of shade, I just did the same thing. I just buffed this underneath the lower lash line to make sure everything looked like it all matched. And then I took my E40 brush just to make sure everything was super seamless. And then going back in with that Diva shade and applying a little bit more of that to the sort of inner and outer portion of the lower lash line, pretty much mimicking what we did on the top lash, top lid. And then I'm taking Queen again, applying that to the center of the lower lash line. And then I do go back in with some more glitter glue and some more of that Mecca glitter and just popped that into the center of the lower lash line. Oh my God, how many times have I said lower lash line? Then I'm taking this Rimmel Coal Pencil in, I think, Gilded Gold or something. Um, it is stunning. I love this eye pencil so much. And then I'm finally taking the shade Beam and highlighting the inner corners. And that pretty much completed the eyes. Oh, and I applied some lower lash mascara. And then that completed the eyes. Then for the nude lip option, I took the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick, which you guys know are one of my favorite formulas. This one's in the shade Rum Punch and I just applied that and that is how the nude lip turned out which I think looks super pretty but because it was Christmas we had to do a red lip of course so I just used a wipe to remove it. Then I lined my lips using a Rimmel lip liner. I think it's called Diva Red but it will be listed down below. And then to fill them in I used the Colourpop Lippy Stick in Bossy which is my favourite red lip of all time that there is nothing that beats this and I think this was my favorite I loved the red lip I feel like it wasn't all too much it all just looked Christmassy and festive and that was it for the entire look I really hope you guys enjoyed it have a very Merry Christmas and I will talk to you in my next video bye